Hello, my name is Martin <laughs> and welcome back to another video. I'm in the middle of the River Irk. Why am I in the River Irk? I'll tell you, all will be revealed. Let's crack on with the video. So, we're now with this week. Well, as I've said, this is the River Irk. Um, we're just outside Manchester City Centre. About 10 months ago, I mean, things landed on me. <laughs> About 10 months ago, me and Danny came here um, to this area to do some research into old buildings and stuff. When we came down here, we didn't know this existed. We knew the river was here, but with this little beach was here. We came down here and we were having a look around and um, quite fascinating, but you can't see it now. I'm gonna walk over here. We stood on this beach here, right? Turn around here. And we looked that way over there and there's all fallen trees now it's all completely uh, it's all completely different to way, the way it was about 10 months ago over there was a hole a tunnel across the river and we were like oh my god what is that that looks fascinating absolutely fascinating you've probably seen it in the intro to this video and we were like, we must come back, but it was winter, so we didn't want to cross the river. It was quite fast flowing, it was quite higher than this. So we've waited all that time to come back today on a beautiful July day to walk across the river <clears throat> in our waders and take a look inside there. If we can, if we can cross the river and we're going to see uh, what we can do. Got my new waders on, Vass waders. I highly recommend Vass waders. Danny's got a cracking pair on. I'm going to take the camera off him now and show him the waders. Show you Danny's waders. Danny's a vast as well. Well, look at these. Wait till I show you this. Look at them corkers. And isn't he proud of them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Corking waders, them, aren't they? And James is back. Do you remember James when we did the, uh, <laughs> the, the Mills? We did the Mills video. James is back. James is going for the, uh, the crotchless look. The, uh, the chaps look. <laughs> Give us a twirl. <laughs> Corkers them, aren't they? Cheap pair of waders off Amazon. I think they'll do the job, they should be all right, as long as the River Irk isn't too deep at this point. Mm. So, first time you've ever been wading, how do you feel about it? Excited. Yeah? Yeah. Not apprehensive? Not apprehensive. A little bit, because it's quiet, it looks like a quiet, the river looks like it's flowing a bit. Yeah, yeah. So it does look, it be fun. It is, it, it will be fun, yeah. as long as we don't go in and fall over <laughs> and all the rest of it. Anyway, we're going to start crossing the river now and see if we can... It's not very wide, but again, it's how deep it is. So it's whether we can cross and get over to the, the tunnel that is behind the camera. What's your foot in here? Right, so we've just crossed the River Irk. Um, this, I think, is an overflow for the, the Moss Brook, which is at some points called the Moston Brook. Uh, here it's, it's the Moss Brook, it changes its name. So we're gonna head on in there. It turns to the right, as you can see, we're gonna head on in there 
and see how far it goes. Not sure what we're going to encounter. <laughs> the usual filthy hellhole that, you know, I like to uh, investigate. Quite beautiful to be honest with you. So without further ado, let's head on into here. I told you this would come in handy at some point, didn't I? Okay, so where are we this week? Well, this is an over-engineered masterpiece. It's a storm drain, an overflow for the Moston Brook or the Moss Brook. Now I say that because the Moston Brook starts its life in an area of North Manchester called Failsworth Moston, sort of on that border. It runs down towards the River Irk and as it gets towards the River Irk, it becomes known as the Moss Brook quite strangely so that remains a mystery to me and what I feel is important to point out here as well is we're not currently walking in the moss brook this is just overflow water we think this tunnel will eventually lead us to the lost and hidden moss brook so this is not the brook at all this is like I say just literally something that takes overflow water from it this beautifully built and rather mysterious hidden tunnel was constructed around about 1900. Believe it or not, I've actually found some photographs online of its construction. Now, let me address some issues. Firstly, Danny's got the gas meter and throughout this entire journey, the air was absolutely fine. I do know that this connects up to the sewer system, but much further up ahead. So in terms of that, we were fine and we were covered. You've seen the gas meter used previously in the Brinley tunnels. In terms of health issues, we were well aware of the things you can catch from water connected to the sewer system. We're also aware of Wiles disease, even though we didn't see a single rat, we're very much aware of it. I thank you very much for your concern because I know you get worried about me in these situations. But as I do this voiceover, it's two weeks after the explore. Myself, Danny and James are all in good health and have not suffered any ill effects at all. But thank you. Now, it was a long journey, much longer than what we expected. We, uh, we weren't sure how far we would go. We probably in the end didn't go too far, but underground it's quite disorientating and you feel you've walked much longer than you actually have. So, do I cut out the bits or do I, because I don't want to make it a boring video, or do I leave them in? So the compromise is that I've 
I've left, I've speeded up some of the walking bits so that you can come with us on almost all the journey because there are little bits that I've cut out, but the uh, the walking bits have speeded up so you don't have to endure them at normal speed because we were down there for quite a while. So you will see almost everything that we saw apart from being down there with us. That'll be a man old. What's that for? Okay, so it's changed a bit. We're going from bits of concrete to brick. I presume this is where there's been repairs. There's a load of uh, bricks there. Uh, God knows where that's come from. Probably pushed down in times of heavy flow. Beyond that, we've just had a quick recce up there. The water seems to get a lot deeper, <laughs> which is quite intimidating to be honest with you. I really don't fancy it. So it, I'm not sure if it starts coming up here, we'll be after, we'll be after a bore. But we'll carry on going and see how just how deep that water gets. Let's crack on. Just light it for us. The water gets deeper, as you can see, with pools of floating fat on top, which was quite disgusting. Nobody spoke and progress was really slow. We just took our time and stayed to one side. I think collectively in our heads, the thought of having to turn back was as bad as carrying on. We really wanted to get through this thing and hoped that this would eventually shallow out. This has been spray created, I think. Spray created. Why? Uh, just to spray concrete on the walls to keep it all stable. After dreading it getting deeper and deeper and us ending up something like chest deep, it finally did start to shallow out and we were able to walk normal again. the shallow bit now. Ah, Let's stop a minute. Light it, James. <laughs> so 
so I had a split. It took me a while to work out that the left hand side was bricked up. The theory is that we think those clever Edwardians anticipated that they would have to build a second tunnel going to the left, but it was never actually utilised. This is just a contingency plan. Right, that was actually quite horrible. We didn't realise, we thought this was dry. We didn't realise there was so much water in it. And there was quite, I'm not gonna even talk about it, but it were very nice, but we took a slow pace. Looks like at some point there's been a split here. So that's obviously bricked up there. Idiot here, didn't even realise it was bricked up. I was thinking, which way should we go? <laughs> but obviously we need to go onwards that way. Um, I can hear water up ahead, I can hear the flow of water which always gets quite exciting as much as this is a filthy, horrible place and we've come quite far, I don't think, I've not filmed the entire journey but we have come quite far, we're well underneath um, the houses now of North Manchester, well underneath. The water seems to be standing, I don't know what it's like when there's been a lot of rainfall, it's been quite dry quite recently. Anyway, I'm going to crack, shut up, crack on, we're going to go, obviously we're going to have to go that way, hopefully it'll stay at a low level and we can see if we can conclude this thing. So, a set of steps. I've come across this sort of arrangement before, so we're obviously going to higher level. We've decided we're going to go up there and see what's up there. We can hear the flow of water now. I imagine it's going to be a sewer. I think I've been having a bit of experience in these places. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll take a walk up there and see what it's like. Uh, I'll let you go first. You notice I've got gloves on at this point. Now these weren't regular steps, they were just annoyingly too high, probably just over a foot high. So you had to really hold on to the wall, which was disgusting and get your foot right up there to go up them. That's why progress was slow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now as we struggle up these steps, um, you're probably going to ask me, did it smell down there? 
it actually didn't smell at all really. If there was any smell, we got used to it. There was no powerful, strong smells down there. I think it's because this whole thing is for a brook. Uh, it's an overflow for a brook. I can't smell it unless I've got Corona. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, look at that. It looks clear, which is a positive. No, it's nothing, nothing's positive here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Those steps were a killer, my legs were aching the next day. But amazingly, what you're looking at here is these two little tunnels are actually the functional bit of this whole thing. On the other side, if you were to crawl through there, is the moss brook. And it overflows down these tunnels and down the steps where we've come and out all the way we've come to the River Irk. So this, these things are the functional bit. We're now gonna go up here into a higher chamber. Oh my God. Downwards, directly downwards, that's it. That's where we've come from. Come with me. So finally we find out what the source of the noise of water was. That is the moss brook. Not a sewer, it's the moss brook. And this whole thing is an overflow for that. As the camera pounds round, we'll see that there's a big penstock there. That's that big circular thing that can be lowered down to shut down the brook in times of flood or if it's flooding downstream and it can be diverted to where we came. Above here is another chamber where the workings are for that penstock that we actually missed believe it or not. This is a rather precarious bridge that we, had, we crossed. We didn't have to cross, but we did cross, and it was good fun. And as we look over the other side into this chamber that is to our left now, the camera will just move around, but we will look down shortly into another chamber that is uh, some kind of sewer overflow. Now, as I say, the control room for that penstock is over there in the corner where we came up the steps. There's a manhole shaft and we missed this, but we looked up the manhole shaft, as you can see. And to the right there, you'll just see a gap. Uh, you can see how deep we are here, but to the right is a gap. And that goes to a little tiny room with winding mechanisms in that operates the penstock. So if you follow the brook downstream, uh, not that way, the other way, I'm going to show you in a sec, downstream, where does it come out? Well, it goes, I can show you where it comes out because it was in another video. Just take a look at this. So this is the Moss Brook emerging into daylight uh, just underneath Rochdale Road in Manchester. It runs now briefly in the open, in daylight. And this is me and Connor in 2018 preparing to follow it downstream into another culvert, another hellhole. These are all the remains of an old mill. I'll put the, uh, the thumbnail up for you if you want to watch that video. But like I say, this is the previous video, 2018. So back to the current video. I did try and do some talking in the chamber, but I was completely drowned out by the, uh, the water. So there was no point doing this, but you get the impression of where we are. 
filthy but fascinating place. I do love these places. They're so alien and they're so lost and the craftsmanship of the brickwork is wonderful. Completely awe-inspiring but quite a, a, quite a journey to get to them to be honest with you. Um, so like I say, don't worry. We're all in good health. We had a great time. We actually had to go back now, so the journey begins back to uh, the entrance. There's only there are other ways out, but we went back uh, the way we came in. Watch out. <laughs> and I have to admit, as fascinating and as wonderful as these places are getting back out into the sunshine and the fresh air is always an amazing feeling. So there you go, that was the overflow of the Moss Brook uh, into the River Irk. It was uh, filthy, weren't it? Yeah, it could have been worse. I think we was expecting a little bit worse. I think we was expecting more sewery. Yeah, yeah. And although it was very sewer looking to you on the camera, I don't think it was, I think it was more sewer overflow and mainly, a predominantly an overflow for the Moss Brook. Uh, missed it. Missed going in those places this year. Not done much like that this year, so it was brilliant. You like it, James? Yeah, it was good took to it like a duck to water <laughs> yeah <laughs> for your first uh, wading mission yeah yeah worth getting those uh Wade waders weren't yeah, it? They yeah. were good. definitely so that's it that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it a bit different this time well we have done stuff like that before but it was uh, it's good to get down there again get dirty again and i've sanitized my hands and wiped them and everything so thanks very much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it goodbye 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 thank you take care see you next time bye <laughs>